Louis Althusser's essay, Ideology and Ideological State Apparatuses, explores how ideologies function within societies and how they are perpetuated through various institutions. Definition of Ideology Althusser begins by defining ideology as a system of ideas and beliefs that shapes people's understanding of the world and their place within it. Ideology is not simply a collection of abstract ideas but is deeply ingrained in social practices, institutions, and everyday life. It serves to maintain and reproduce existing social relations, often masking contradictions and inequalities. Ideological State Apparatuses, ISAs, Althusser introduces the concept of ideological state apparatuses, ISAs, which are institutions that disseminate ideologies and reinforce dominant social norms and values. ISAs include institutions such as schools, churches, the family, media, and cultural institutions. These institutions play a crucial role in shaping individuals' beliefs. Identities and behaviors, thereby ensuring the reproduction of the dominant ideology. Role of reproduction. Althusser argues that ISAs function primarily through reproduction rather than repression. Unlike repressive state apparatuses, RSAs, such as the police and military, which use force and coercion to maintain social order, ISAs operate by persuading individuals to internalize and accept prevailing ideologies as natural and inevitable. This process of internalization occurs through education, cultural practices, rituals, and everyday interactions. Interpolation. A key concept in Althusser's theory is interpolation, which refers to the process by which individuals are hailed or called into specific subject positions by ideological messages. For example, educational institutions interpolate individuals as students, teaching them the values of obedience, competition, and meritocracy. Similarly, media interpolate individuals as consumers, promoting desires for certain products and lifestyles. Reproduction of social relations. Althusser contends that ideologies perpetuate and justify existing social relations including class divisions and power structures. ISAs reproduce these relations by framing them as natural and legitimate, thereby maintaining social stability and preventing widespread resistance or revolution. This process of reproduction ensures that individuals continue to fulfill their roles within the social hierarchy. Contradictions in ideology. Despite the apparent coherence of ideologies, Althusser acknowledges their internal contradictions and inconsistencies. Ideologies often mask underlying social contradictions, presenting a harmonious view of society that obscures inequalities and exploitation. However, these contradictions can become apparent during periods of crisis or social upheaval, leading to challenges to dominant ideologies and calls for change. Cultural Hegemony Althusser draws on Antonio Gramsci's concept of cultural hegemony to explain how dominant ideologies gain widespread acceptance and legitimacy. Cultural hegemony refers to the ideological and cultural leadership exercised by ruling elites, who use ISAs to promote their interests and worldview. Through hegemonic practices, ruling classes secure consent and cooperation from subordinate groups. Minimizing the need for coercive force. Resistance and counter hegemony. Despite the pervasive influence of dominant ideologies, Althusser acknowledges the potential for resistance and counter hegemony. Individuals and social groups can challenge and subvert dominant ideologies through alternative discourses, cultural practices, and social movements. This resistance often seeks to expose the contradictions and injustices perpetuated by dominant ideologies, aiming for social transformation and emancipation. Critique of Liberal Humanism Althusser critiques liberal humanism for its emphasis on individual agency and rationality, arguing that it overlooks the ways in which individuals are shaped and constrained by ideological structures. He contends that ideologies operate at a subconscious level, 
influencing people's thoughts, desires, and behaviors without their explicit awareness. This critique challenges liberal notions of freedom and autonomy. Althusser's essay provides a critical analysis of ideologies and their mechanisms of reproduction through ISAs. He argues that understanding how ideologies function is essential for recognizing the dynamics of power, domination, and resistance within society. By examining the role of ISAs in shaping consciousness and social relations, Althusser offers insights into the complex interplay between ideology, institutions, and social change. Ideology and Ideological State Apparatuses by Louis Althusser remains a foundational text in Marxist theory, offering a structural analysis of how ideologies operate within societies and influence individual subjectivities. His concepts of ISAs, interpolation, and cultural hegemony provide a framework for understanding the pervasive and often subtle ways in which ideologies shape social relations and maintain structures of power.